The Keck Summer Drop is now live. I'll do this again. It's fucking hard when you're just not in the roll of things. Keck Summer Drop's now live. We've got six new styles. You can see them here. Probably some of my favorite that was ever dropped. They'll be on the site now. Head over there, kecksunderwear.com. On with the 500. <laughs> today and up until now I've never rode a CR500 that's about to change because Andre MX has built this bike it's a 2022 Honda 450 um, and he's cut it up he's put a 500 two-stroke Honda engine in it and um, we're gonna tear it around the track and see how it goes I won't bore you too much I'm just gonna get on it ride it and um, see how we get on I'm not gonna run it in <laughs> have you run it in it's going to blow up then after that. <laughs> Give me the stand this side. I don't want it to backfire. You need to pump, you need compression. Yeah. When you feel the piston on the top, keep one. Pump. faster than my 450 it's weird the power is so different this you can be real you'd think you need to rev it but you don't have to rev it the power's all like Whoa. when you watch the old videos the guys they're like Whoa. on this it's not like a 252 stroke where you have to rev or obviously not the only two strokes i've rode are like a 125 and i rode that 250 a little bit but not much and then on those ones you have to like rev it where this one's ideally you don't have to rev it for the video it's like Think, oh, I want to rev it to blow everything out, but realistically, you, you can be real low RPM. How's the clutch? You feel a little bit all right? If you need to good, adjust, yeah. yeah. I've adjusted it already. Really? It was coming in too far because it was everything brand new. I seen in the first section she was buggy, she was running a little bit fun. Yeah, but now, but after, it's now good. she's running good. Yeah. How does it feel in comparison to your 450, considering it's the same frame? Yeah, because of the frame, it's a similar feeling, but the engine obviously has a completely different feeling. At the same time, it's different, but it's not like. Obviously Nev rides one and he says, tells me how it, it is, but you can see what he's saying. When you're in a high gear, it will just pull. But um, it's fun to ride. But you don't need to rev it as much. On this video, I'm revving it probably too much, just for the views. But you could probably do again. I don't want to blow it up. I've, he's starting it now. Oh. I broke a kickstart. I snapped Well, I don't know how to start it. And he said, kick it all the way through. I kicked it all the way through. That guy snapped me not. He's got it. He knows how to do it. Yeah, first time. That's why you're behind there and I'm on there and he's starting it. Mm-hmm. 
Big 500 guy. He sounds sweet. Yeah, rides nice. Does it go well? Yeah, it goes all right. Suspension looks very uh, stiff. Need K Tech on it, don't I? Yeah. This is just standard suspension. Yeah, so she's a bit all over. If I have K Tech, it'd be dreamy around here, but it's still good. The smooth lines you can get on, but yeah, it's really stiff suspension. But the engine, it's just nice to ride. It bogs a little bit when I land. That's quite scary. Um, but the, the rest just feels feels lovely. Just good fun to ride. The power difference, I don't think so. It's not hugely different. The 450 is, is more nice, obviously. It's like the responsive way you want it. Whereas this one, one minute you, it's like in a nice power, then it can just take off. Like you could just end up completely looping out so easily. And that's what scares me. Do you have a bit more respect for the boss now, Mr. Dave Thorpe? Yeah, Mr. Dave Thorpe done well on these. To win three world championships, he's obviously um, a legend. I wasn't quite around to see the races, but riding there 500 is unbelievable. Um, that's the first time I've ever got to ride one, and it's an absolute dream. Do you want to buy one? I uh, don't know if I'll buy one. I quite like my 450 more. I feel safer on a 450 than I do a 500. I must admit, you do look safer on a 450. I feel like a bit of a sock on a, wo a windy day on a washing line. <laughs> We're going to wrap this one up. We're going to keep this vlog short, sweet. The 500 was unbelievable. Thanks to Andre MX for building it um, and letting me ride before it, it's actually sold. Um, but it's really kind of him to let me ride it. And that's that. So thanks for watching. See you in a bit.